Welcome to the video by DJ's PRC. We have our ACX24 today. And what I want to install on it is basically a hot race stainless steel center belly skid. Uh, now, I do have on this vehicle here uh, an al aluminum or aluminum, depending where your country you are from. <laughs> uh, uh, wow, forgot how to speak today. <laughs> uh, aluminum, uh, basically belly pan or uh, transmission mount uh, on a I could have kept the plastic one. I just wanted something a little bit more stronger to keep the chassis all like in one piece solid. Now it is, like I said, aluminum and I could just keep it this way here, but I want to protect it uh, like I did for the diffs. And I said, why not? Uh, let's install this today. Now I do have on this vehicle the uh, Yaw Racing skid, oh, skid plate, but rock guards or sliders, depending on how you want to take it. Um, and this hot racing one basically goes like this. It goes in between. Now, the way I'm going to try to do this, I don't want to remove these screws completely and have my rock guards completely off the vehicle what i'm going to try to do is unscrew just the back slide it in and try to lift it a bit and put the back one in now they do supply you for longer screws i'm just going to see how much longer they are yeah they are a little bit longer I might take these screws instead. I would have preferred to have black ones. So I'm not really a kind of a chrome kind of a guy, but let's see if it wants to focus. There we go. Let's remove the back one and hoping what I'm trying to do here will work I'm gonna match the hot racing to this hot racing here It may not work what I'm trying to do here, but I'm just going to try to bend it a bit. That way it can be inserted. I might need to loosen the front ones. Just a tad. There we go. Okay, what I'm trying to accomplish here might work. Let me just screw this one in and I'll show you what I'm trying to accomplish and closer details here. If you're a long time subscriber to this channel, you will know you should know that I try to remove less items as possible on a vehicle to accomplish whatever I'm trying to accomplish. And if you're new to the channel, that's one of the reasons I'm trying to remove less possible. But let's say you do have these rock sliders, you could remove them. Doesn't really matter. Uh, not sure if you can see it here. Right now it's on a pivot. It's the back ones are holding. I'll remove the front front ones. Wow. Front. Wow, I can't really speak today. Front ones. Even then. These ones here. 
<laughs> uh, and then I'll just close it. And re-screw the new screws on it. I don't know why I cannot talk today. I'm just going to pull these apart a bit and pop the screws in. Now, like I was saying earlier, you don't need, if you don't want to, uh, if you do have the aluminum uh, transmission mount, you don't need this plate here. The aluminum mount will be strong enough but I said, why not? I have the ones for the diffs already. And I decided to put it in anyway. One of the reasons I was, like I was saying that I went the aluminum uh, transmission mount is just to make everything more solid. And when you're screwing in these screws here, they're not going in plastic. They're on something solid. Now you could put a little bit of Loctite on these guys if you wanted to, but they're fine screws. And when you're using your uh, 0 0.50, that's a small head, very easy to strip. And there you go. You have the hot racing uh, skid plate or stainless steel center belly skid plate, they call it. Uh, now this will protect your uh, your center drive and there you go if you guys have any comments or or question post them below i'll be glad to answer you guys and don't forget if you like this video hit that thumbs up i do appreciate it a lot and don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching thanks